Bethune-Cookman's explosive offense couldn't be contained on Fullwood Youth Day at Morgan State. I'm Mark Gray at Hughes Stadium in Baltimore where the Wildcats rolled in to take all the hardware back to Daytona Beach. The Beltway Sports Report is next. The always sartorially splendid Alvin Wyatt has his young team challenging in the MEAC, while Donald Hill Ely's Bears are looking to find answers on how not to beat themselves. Morgan down 17-13, but driving in the third quarter when this fumble is picked up and Travis Rowland rolls 28 yards to put Bethune-Cookman back up by 10. Morgan comes right back, however, on the next drive when Carlton Jackson connects with Jay Wilson for 28 yards and a touchdown. That would close the gap to three. The Wildcats then break the wide bone and go to the air as Maurice Francois hooks up with Philip Kirkland with one of his two pass receptions of the day. And 82 yards later, it's a touchdown. And the lead balloons back to 10. Well, we got a freshman trying to engineer now like we have with Patel Trotman. Kid who's, who have the likes of a Patel Trotman, but not, not to that, that, that level of an Allen Suga, but can, can vastly get there. And he did a fantastic job for us. Uh, uh, Morgan State uh, possessed a lot of problems for us uh, early on and often. But uh, he was able to sit in there and, and, and handle the heat. And he was co comfortable. He had not completed a pass in, in his last two starts. And he completed one for a touchdown. So I, I thought he did a fantastic job. Then the Bears YouTube legend Edwin Baptiste hauls in a strike from Jackson. And he takes it to the house. But the extra point was blocked. And that would prove to be a killer for Morgan State. Late in the fourth quarter now, Wildcats trying to run out the clock when Andros Bell busts it down the far sidelines and is off to the races. One big 70-yard run way down to the Morgan one-yard line. Now the Wildcats had a chance to ice this thing, but they fumble at the goal line. Morgan gets one last shot. Bears driving one last time, fourth down inside Bethune-Cookman territory, but they can't connect, and that ices it. Bethune-Cookman comes to Hughes Stadium. They knock off Morgan on Varsity M Day, 31-27. Well, we're 4-1. We're and one. That's where we are right now. <laughs> but as far as our, our, our level of play, we're not where we want to be. Morgan State is a, is a good football team. Uh, Coach Hill does a great job with them. Uh, we, we see we, we struggled with them, but we but we were able to somehow get back. And that's how our 98 team and our, our 2002 team and 2003 team was. They could win those games where, where we have unfavorable circumstances against us, and that's what makes them believers. In so despite dominating Bethune-Cookman in every statistical category but the scoreboard, the Bears find themselves down a game already in the MEAC title hunt. And when you consider they have a couple of reasonably winnable games at North Carolina A&T and then Howard in a couple of weeks for the Bison's homecoming, the Bears now find themselves in the unenviable position of having to run the table if they're going to win the Mideastern Athletic Conference Championship. And that task is made even a steeper uphill climb when you consider three of their final four games are on the road at South Carolina State, Florida A&M, and of course, Delaware State comes here for the Bears homecoming before Hampton closes the season here at Hughes Stadium. It will be a tough fight. I'm Mark Gray for Sports Groove TV. We're going to leave you with the sights and the sounds of halftime at Fullwood Day here at Hughes Stadium and the magnificent marching machine along with those honey bears. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, your boxing dancer.